what what's up guys oh bronco here with the 146 episode of reach track review and yes i'll be uploading uh probably three or more videos today just uh i don't know just kind of felt like uploading a couple videos today but with me today i have mr mario kart himself that's uh that's your cue oh sorry you cut out there guys <laughs> my bad i didn't cut out i just stopped talking it was your cue to oh it was your cue to start speaking well hey guys how are we doing uh, this is Canucks Lightning, most of you probably already know that, but this guy, Mario Kart DS Wii, 150cc, he's beats everybody, he's just beast at Mario Kart. So, uh, I thought it would be kind of nice to have him for this uh, for this video, this is Rainbow Road by V-Ionized. Um, it was supposed to be a remake of the uh, Rainbow Road from Mario Kart, it's uh, obviously not exactly the same, but it is very similar, uh, has a lot of the same features, including that big man cannon jump and uh um yeah overall really nice map um has a lot of the details from the original mario kart uh including this split road right here uh the little jump over there the pretty much everything so um just kind of straying away from talking about halo reach logan what do you remember from mario kart and who is your wow drove into a wall who is uh who is your favorite person to race with on what track and what cc Oh, man. Well, it depends on which Mario Kart you're talking about. There's many Mario Karts I've played almost Let's every... talk about Double Dash. Double Dash. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've played Double Dash, but I remember having the most fun on Double Dash ever on all of the Mario Karts. And I remember my combo, for some reason, it used to be Mario and, Wal and uh, Wario for some strange reason, and I would always have Wario as my main driver because I just loved his little roadster or whatever it was, that purple thing. And I played Double Dash nonstop. Um, every time I go up to Canada, my cousins have a N64 and a GameCube on there, and I can't remember which platform the game was for. But we would play. We played Double Dash every single day I was up there, and I had the greatest memories on Mario Kart, and I still do today. I, you know, as a matter of fact, I might go play it this weekend now that you bring this up. If you played Mario Kart this weekend, you wouldn't be able to play Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. That is right. Uh, you bring up a good point, my friend. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is, uh, oh my gosh, I just drove off the edge. But uh, that's a game that I also started, I uh, got recently because Canucks got it, and I thought um, it was kind of interesting, so I got it, and it's a lot of fun. So if you guys have that game, just message me. I'll invite you, and we can play a big custom game. It's a lot of fun. But um, back to, uh, I guess, Mario Kart. I think I remember... My favorite driver has always been uh, Yoshi. Um, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I just like how kind of weird he is, and he's just kind of out there in his own person. He's not afraid um, of who he is. I mean, he is a little yellow, uh, green dinosaur, but he's not afraid of who he is. So I always liked Yoshi, and uh, he has cool sound effects. And um, favorite, favorite overall favorite track, uh, Waluigi Stadium. It has that nice uh, Supercross feel to it, I guess. I mean, it basically is a Supercross track. It is. Waluigi Stadium. Um, Bowser's Castle is also another good one. Remember that one. Mario Yoshi's Kart. Island, of course. Can't forget that one. Yoshi's Island. Yep. Duquesne did, did a good job remaking that one. That was that was really, really nice track. It was. I, I've never raced on it yet. I haven't raced on it yet, so I should probably get to that. Uh, yes, you have. Any... Yes, you have. Uh, have I? Yeah, you were in the video. I, oh, okay then. That's well, right. back to, back to the track. Um, sorry, I've kind of been straying away from the actual Halo Reach portion of this and kind of going on to the Mario Kart thing. Um, overall, just a really, really nice track. There's a lot of waves. There's a lot of turns. Everything is really smooth. Um, as you can tell, it's a co completely free-handed. Um, nothing really looks like he used rotation snap. And uh, also this jump right here, I was really surprised that this worked as well as it did. Um, and also I'm surprised that it shot you this far because I, I can never get my man cannons to work really well. Um, so I'm glad he was able to um, make it shoot you that far because it's kind of it's kind of fun just being completely launched uh, across across the entire lagoon through the air. So that was really nice. But uh, this video just about comes to an end here, guys. So. Um, remember to like and favorite the video if you enjoyed it and if you, uh, and if you like Mario Kart. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please, uh, subscribe for more gameplay.